Blake and I'm a makeup artist and I'm here with the wonderful Denny and we are going to show you how to get the beach babe look. Now this look is very natural, very pleasing to the eye I feel and also it's not terrifying in the slightest so anyone can do it. It's a beautiful natural makeup look. So to start off with we're going to go in with the beauty booster just for a really beautiful natural radiant glow and I'm going to apply that with my sponge and I'm just simply going to pop it in areas that I want a little bit of coverage but also where I want the most luminosity to the skin. And that's the amazing thing about this product that it's so durable that you can use it however you want to. Next up I'm going to use a little bit of the Illuma under the eye so I'm just going to dot it right in the inner corner of the eye and then a few dots just underneath. Now this actually has algae extract which helps produce natural collagen so it plumps around the eye area which we all need because obviously we do worry about fine lines around this area but it also doesn't dry matte either and it instantly gives that beautiful radiance as you can see. And also I take it down a little bit but some people might want to put it in other areas of the face which is absolutely fine when you want a little bit more luminosity so around this area is always really nice. Um, you can pop it obviously on the bridge of the nose, just anywhere where you want a little bit of light. So I'm now going to apply a little bit of the mineral foundation and I'm actually going to use my precision face brush and I'm going to use the slightly flatter end just for a little bit more detail because I've already done the beauty booster on you I don't actually want too much foundation but I just want to pop it in certain areas and I'm going to use little circular motions like this This just allows me to have a little bit more of a direct aim in areas that I want that coverage I also take that under the eyes a little bit as well just to set any of the Illuma if you want to I think the combination of the beauty booster and the mineral foundation is like the ultimate combo. It feels so nice. It looks gorgeous on you. So before I start eyes or anything, I'm just going to finish a little bit of the base just because I love what we've got here and I just want to add to it. And I sometimes feel that helps if you do a bit of cheeks before you do eyes, then I sometimes think you know how much to put on your mm. eyes. So I'm going to go in with Sunkissed Orchid. Just smile for me. and I'm just going to apply a really small amount of that to the apples of the cheeks. This is such a beautiful coloured blush because it's really warming for the skin. So it just adds a really beautiful, natural kind of glow to the cheek. I mean, this is a beach babe look. I do yeah. feel that we need to look like you've been in the sunshine. <laughs> So the eyes for this look are super simple. We've literally got two eyeshadow colours. I'm going to go in with Cashew with the fluffy end of my eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to load up the brush, tap off any excess, just close for me and I'm just literally going to go all over the eye area with this. This look is perfect for someone that's not used to makeup, that maybe you're introducing to makeup for the first time or that you just want to try something but you're not sure how to do it. Honestly, this is a no-brainer. It's so simple, but yet so effective and really beautiful. Next, I'm going to take Sheer Nut, which is this beautiful colour here, and I'm just going to take that into the crease of the eye. So very, very gently, just dot where you want a little bit of a crease colour, okay? So very, very gently, kind of very small tapping motions, just go in the kind of arch of the eyeball area. So just this part here. Again, you're not going to go too heavy. You can't really make a mistake with this because it's such a light, beautiful colour. And then when you feel a bit more confident with it, you can then go a little bit heavier and take it into the kind of crease area and out to the outer corner of the eye. Just really making sure that you're blending it all together. You can run it along the lash line as well. As I said, you can't really make a mistake with this colour because it's so light in texture, but it's definitely effective. And then what I tend to do is always get people to open their eyes, just open your eyes for me, and you want to be able to see the colour just very slightly popping over the eye once the eyes open. If you can't see it, then maybe take it a little bit higher. So I'm really happy with that. I'm just going to go a little bit stronger with that colour in the crease because I think it's so nice when you can just see that colour just popping through. You don't want to go too high up, so you still want to have the gap between the eyebrow and this colour coming through. I'm now going to line the lash line with this beautiful silk gel liner in ebony. And I'm literally just going to 
hold the lid up so you've got no gaps or any creasing or anything and just very, very gently run the liner all the way along the root of the lashes. So you literally have a little bit of the liner on the lash and a little bit on the lid. Just go back and forth, back and forth. It doesn't have to be precise at this point. You're literally just giving yourself a little bit of a guide and go over the top of that and just really make sure that that's really beautifully smudged and just blend that out. So when you're happy with your liner, as I said, you can go as thick or thin as you desire. I'm just gonna take whatever is left on my slanted brush, just look straight up for me, and just run that underneath. You don't need to put any of the actual coal underneath because you've got a little bit on your brush, as you can see, and you're literally just defining those lashes. Just adds a little bit of definition. And then of course, we're gonna do a bit of mascara. Yay. <laughs> just look down for me. I'm actually just going to pop a little bit on the top. I might do some on the bottom, I might not. Again, that's a total personal preference. With this look, I kind of like the fact that everything's a liner, everything's a little bit top heavy, which I think looks really pretty. So I've already done a little smudgy liner underneath. So if you feel that's enough for you, then you don't have to. Then a little bit of the fibres, just to add a little bit of drama. I love drama. Mm, who doesn't? <laughs> and then I'm going to set that again with the fixing gel. So I'm just going to finish up with a little bit of rose gold on the cheeks. This is obviously a highlighter, but the lovely thing about the rose gold is it's got this beautiful pinky hue to it. So it does act a little bit like a blush too. So the combination of your blusher and this highlighter together will just give that beautiful radiant glow to the cheek. Kind of take it on the high points of the cheekbone and then blend it into the blusher. I always like to take a tiny bit of the highlighter just on the lips as well. And then I'm going to finish this look off with the beautiful fresh fig. Mm -hmm. Now I'm applying it with a brush. The only reason I like to apply it with a brush is because I don't really want to line your lips, I want it to look quite natural. Mm. But I do find that when you use a brush, you actually naturally line the lips with that. Just got a really beautiful kind of bitten lip colour. That's what I love about Fresh Fig. It's a very good natural colour. So the last thing I'm going to do is just set all of that with the pressed powder that's in the palette. I love the fact that you can get a pressed powder in the palette because if you're on the run, running about and getting all hot and sticky this will just really help mattify the skin and just keep your makeup in place all day a little bit on the chin and that is the beach babe look